My last video showed you how to grab the verified badge from your favorite TikToker and I promise to teach you the second part which is giving the badge to your profile. So let's start the tutorial. If you have not watched my previous tutorial, please find the link in the description and learn it first. Okay, last video we stop here. We need to swipe to your TikTok profile. Drag the timeline of the photo to make the duration longer. Find the point where you are about to swipe, tap split. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the photo, drag the timeline and move it to the right until it is out of sight. Come back here, tap overlay and add your edited TikTok profile photo. Resize it and set a keyframe at the beginning of the overlay photo. Move it to the left until it is out of sight. And then drag the timeline and adjust its position accordingly. Tap layer and select number 1 and you complete the swipe. After that, tap the overlay photo and make the duration longer. Tap overlay video. Find a point where you swipe your page, tap split. As the size of the two photos is a bit different, we need to adjust the positions of the overlay clip. Now you need to make a verified photo for your profile. You can go to Google and search for the TikTok verified emoji. Save it. I use photo grid to edit again. Tap Add Photo and adjust the check mark to the correct position. Come back to CapCut and insert the photo you just edited. Make sure you insert it at the correct time where you stick the check mark. And then adjust the position to match with your overlay photo. Now you need to make the prop disappear. Drag the timeline to where you add your last photo and tap the overlay photo. Split it and delete the later part. Tap the overlay video and split it at the same point. And then go for mask and select circle. Remember to tap invert at the bottom left. Adjust the mask as small as possible to cover the check mark. Do not forget to adjust the arrow for feather effect. Basically, we are done but if you are not satisfied with the leg part, you can go to transform and crop it but you need to adjust the position again. You might need to adjust it for a few times to get better result. And this is the same for the previous clip. Last but not least, delete the part that you don't want and finally we are done. Some, but I know that you all could handle it so just do this and tag me on TikTok alright I hope that you enjoyed this video and wish that TikTok can verify me someday so uh, see you next time bye